Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to do the cloudy dishcloth, and it is a pattern by Yarnspirations. I will put a link below in the description box where you can get the written pattern. It is, they do have it in the written out form. They also have it in charted form if you like to read charts as well. Okay, um, so let me show you the sizes and the yarn that I did, I have made. Now, the first one I made was this one right here. And this one actually is the Lily's Sugar and Cream, which is what the pattern calls for. Now, the pattern, the, the picture is done in a solid white color. That's why it's called cloudy, because the shape makes you think of a cloud, I guess. <laughs> but I thought it would be very interesting to make it in the uh, Lily and, Lily's Sugar and Cream, but in the stripes. This actually is violet stripes, if you're interested. Now, this piece was made with an H hook which is a five millimeter hook and that's what the pattern calls for okay so I measured this piece um, this is using the sugar and cream and the uh, H hook five millimeter and mine turned out to be uh, it used 46 grams of yarn so it's not you it don't even it will not even use the the whole um, uh, ball of the sugar and cream uh, mine used 46 grams or 1.6 ounces and it did come out to be quite a large size uh, mine turned out to be 13 inches the length of it's 13 inches and the height that the highest part is eight and three fourths inches okay and then I made it a second time in fact for today's tutorial I'm going to show you this one. Now this one is, I guess this is a thinner yarn. Uh, it does say, oh yeah it is. I'm using, this one I used Yarn B Sugar Wheel, Sugar Wheel Cotton Mini in the colorway Cutie Patootie. <laughs> and this is actually a three weight yarn. The L Lily Sugar and Cream is a four weight yarn or worsted. This is a three weight cotton yarn, okay? And for this one, I went down to a 4.5 millimeter hook. I wanted to see if I could get it a little bit smaller, which it, it did turn out quite a bit smaller. And this, I think, is m much better for a uh, washcloth size. Okay, this one measures seven inches high at the fullest point, and then long, it turns out to be 10 and one fourth inches. This is using a 4.5 millimeter hook, um, and I weighed this, and it took 23 grams, which is 0.8 ounces, so not even one ounce. And so, this is how much I have left over. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to be doing in today's tutorial. Um, so, um, uh, let's see, uh, what else do I need to tell you? Okay, well, let me tell you the supplies. <laughs> okay, so for today's tutorial, I'm using, like I said, the Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton Mini, okay? And uh, a 4.5 millimeter hook, okay? You are going to need uh, two stitch markers. I'm looking for them. <laughs> two stitch markers and a yarn needle, right? here and a pair of scissors okay and that's it okay so let's get started okay so first thing we're going to do is attach our yarn to our hook with a slip knot okay and then we're going to loosely chain 73 okay so one two three four five and then you're going to keep going and you're going to and I will meet you when I get my 73 chains uh, created okay okay so I got my 73 chains made and now I'm going on to the first row and it says in the first row we're going to do seven double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook okay so that would be I'm going to yarn over and prepare preparation of making the first double crochet one two three four so fourth chain from the hook and I'm going to do seven double crochets all into that one chain so there's one two 
to three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so I got my seven double crochets made into that fourth chain from the hook, and that actually counts as eight double crochets because when you made the first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, those initial three chains counts as the first double crochet in that fan, okay? So it's actually a total of eight double crochets, okay? The first one being the chain three. Okay, going on, it says one double crochet in each of the next four chains, okay? One, two, three, and four. Okay, and then it says to place the marker, or your first marker, place it in that last double crochet that you just made, okay? So I'm going to get one of my markers here, and I'm going to mark that. But I'm going to mark it not at the top of the stitch because I'll be working in that stitch on the other, uh, when I come back the, the other direction. And so I'm going to mark that stitch, but I'm going to put the marker just in the side, uh, the front side of, the, uh, of that double crochet. Okay. It's marking that stitch, but the marker won't be in my way. Okay. Going on, it says we're going to be making a double crochet two together, okay? And the way you do that is you yarn over, uh, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go under two loops, but leave the, leave the two remaining on there, okay? And then yarn over, go into the next chain, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops. Now you have three loops on your hook, okay? And then you're going to yarn over and go under all three of those loops, okay? And that makes a double crochet two together. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is one double crochet each in the next six chains. One. two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And then that is our sequence okay so we're, the sequence being that we're going to be repeating is we're going to do one double crochet two together and then in the next stitch or the next two stitches you you join them together as one and then you're going to do a regular double crochet in the next six stitches okay and you're going to repeat that seven more times and that's going to get you all the way to the end of your chain, okay? So let's do one more sequence together, and then I'll let you work on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet two together, okay? So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go under two loops, okay? And then hold that, and then yarn over, go in, over into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go under, two, go under two chains, okay, so now you have three chains on your hook, yarn over, and then pull through all three chains, okay, that's your double crochet two together, okay, and then now you're going to do a, just a regular double crochet in the next six chains. So one, two, oops, three, four, 
5, and 6. Okay, so that's our sequence. So double crochet two together and then double crochet in the next six chains after that. And then you keep repeating that sequence until you get all the way to the end. You should end on the, where you're doing double crochets in the next six chains. That's where you should end and you shouldn't have any chains left over, okay? So I'm gonna keep doing that sequence, double crochet two together and then double crochet six. Um, and then I will meet you at the end when I get to the end, okay? Okay, so I've got to the end of row one. Now I'm going to chain two, one and two, and then turn. And then I'm ready to do row two. Okay, row two, it says chain two, but I like to chain two before. I mean, I, if there's a turning chain, I like to do the ch turning chain before I turn my work. So that chain two at the beginning of the second row, I've already done that, okay? And then it says one double crochet each in the next, uh, I mean, one double crochet in the next double crochet, okay? Just one double crochet. And this, along with that turning chain that we just made, counts as a double crochet two together, okay? Okay, and then it says one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then now we're going to do a double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw under two loops, hold it, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, okay? And then under the first two uh, loops of your hook, and then yarn over and draw through the last three remaining loops on your hook. Okay, so that's a double crochet two together. Okay, so that is our sequence. Uh, now we're not gonna do that all the way across, but we're going to do that a total of seven times. And this is our first time, this w that we just did counts as the first, the first time. So now we're gonna do this sequence, double crochet in the next five stitches and then two double crochets together. Okay, that's the sequence. And we're gonna do that six more times, okay? And so I'm going to get my six times done, and then I will meet you up when I'm uh, getting finished with that. Okay, so I just finished my, um, that sequence of five double crochets and then two, uh, one double crochet, two together. Okay, I just did that seven times in total. Okay, and now I'm ready to go on to the last part of row two, of row two. one double crochet each in the next nine double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, okay? And then you should have eight uh, double crochets left which is actually this fan shape that we made in the very beginning and in the next in each of the next eight stitches all the way to the end we're going to do two double crochets in each of those because we're going to make a curve okay so we're going to make it fan out more so two double crochets each in the in the, all the way to the end in each stitch and you should have um, like I said, two in each of the eight, so you'll have 16 stitches altogether remaining, okay? So one and two, I see if I have a knot in my yarn right there. Okay, and then two in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, okay? And do that, like I said, we're going to do that eight times, and that will get us all the way to the end of the row. And I'll meet you when I get there. Okay, I'm right at the end. I've got one more stitch to work into. And what it is actually is the very beginning uh, chain three that was formed when we double crocheted in the fourth chain from the hook. So make sure you uh, also put two double crochets into the top of that, um, that chain also. Okay, two of them.
Okay, so that is the end of row two. Going on to row three, I'm going to chain three, and like I said, I like to go ahead and do my turning chain before I turn. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and now I'm going to turn my work. Okay, and then continuing on with row three, we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch, the next double crochet, okay? Because, let me go back a little bit. Okay, so that chain three is on top of the first, that first stitch, okay? And so that chain three counts as a double crochet. And so when we're, when we're gonna double crochet into the next double crochet, it's not going to be at the base of that chain three. Let me get up here closer, oops, sorry. Okay, it's not at the base of this chain three. That is, this chain three is, uh, equivalent to the double crochet, the first double crochet of the row, okay? So the one we're going to work into is the next stitch, okay? The next stitch. And we're going to do two double crochets into that stitch. One and two, okay? And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch, okay? And then we're going to repeat that uh, we're going to do it a total of eight times. We've already done it one time, so that means we're going to do it seven more times. We're going to do double, two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next stitch, okay? So I just did it a second time, so that means I need, now need to do it six more times, okay? And I will meet you up when I get uh, finished with that part. Okay, so I got my uh, repeats done for that sequence, which was two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch, and I did that eight times, okay, and that's not counting that very fur the turning chain, okay? So I did that eight times, and now I'm ready to go on to the next part of the instructions. And it says one double crochet each in the next three stitches. So one. two, three, and then I'm gonna do two double crochet, I mean double crochet two together in the next, over the next two stitches, okay? And then we yarn over under all three loops, okay? So that was a double crochet two together, okay? And then I'm going to do one double crochet each in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four, okay? And so that's our new sequence. We're gonna do double crochet two together and then one double crochet in the next four stitches. And we're gonna repeat that sequence Okay, we're going to repeat that sequence. Uh, it says eight times in the instructions, but we've already done it once. So now we're going to do that seven more times. So double crochet two together, and then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Do that seven more times. And I'll meet you when I get finished with mine. Okay, so I just got finished doing my repeats of that last sequence, and it got me all the way to the end of my piece, okay? Because remember, I know this looks off a little bit, but remember that these two last two stitches, which was the first two stitches of the previous row, that it was uh, the same thing as a double crochet two together. So you just do that final double crochet in the top of those, uh, between those two stitches, not between them, but at the top and that uh, gets us to the end of the row. Okay, uh, going on to row four, we're gonna chain two and turn our work, okay? And continuing on with row four, we're gonna do one double crochet in the next double crochet. And just like the time before, or two rows before, those two stitches right there is going to be the same thing as a double crochet two together, okay? Okay. Now we're going to do one double crochet each in the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So double crochet two together. Okay, and that's our new sequence for this row. 
uh, we're going to do that six more times so it's one double crochet each in the next three stitches and then a double crochet two together okay that's the sequence we're going to do that six more times and I will meet you up when I get finished with my six repeats okay so I just finished my uh, eight repeats because the first one I did with you kind of is the first one plus seven more so eight repeats of those increases and now I'm ready to go on to the rest of row five the next section says to do one double crochet each in the next three double crochets so one two and three and then I'm going to do double crochet two together. Okay. And then I'm going to do one double crochet each in the next two double crochets. So one and two. Okay. One each. Okay. And then that is our new sequence. So it's going to be two uh, double crochet two together and then one double crochet in the next two stitches and I'm going to do that seven more times, okay? So it's a double crochet two together, okay? And then one double crochet each in the next two stitches, so one and two, okay? So I just did it a second time, so now i got to do it six more times, okay? And I will meet you when I get finished with that, and that should get us to the end of this piece, okay? So I'll meet you when I get to the end. Okay, I'm right at the end of row five, so I've got one more of those sequence, the, the repeat to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do it here on camera to show you the last stitch, okay? So double crochet two together, and then it says to double crochet one in the each, each of the next two stitches, so one, okay and then I've got one more to to do and see how there's two it looks like there's two stitches there but the beginning of that round when we did that it said that those two would would count as a double crochet two together so my second double crochet or the last one that I need to do for the round is just right at the top of those two uh, double crochets it just looks like there's two there but actually that was a two double crochet I mean that was a double crochet two together okay so I just wanted to show you that okay okay so that is the end of row five going on to row six we're going to chain two and turn our work so one and two turn our work and then it says one double crochet in the next stitch and just like uh, the, this kind of sequence is do, is working every other row and so it's saying that those two together is going to be like a double crochet two together okay just like two rows below, below that okay okay and then going on with row six we're going to uh, work on a sequence and we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do a double crochet two together okay and then that's our sequence we're going to do and we're going to do that six more times so one double crochet in the next stitch double crochet two together okay now we need to do it five more times okay and so i'm going to do it five more times and i will meet you when i get to the end of that section Okay, so I just did that sequence a total of seven times, so now let's go to the next part of the instructions. One double crochet each in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now we're going to do uh, we're at the curve again, so we're going to do increases all the way around this curve all the way to the end. And the increases is, are going to be two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two, all in the same stitch. And then one double crochet each in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four okay so we're going to do that 
seven more times. So two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet each in the next four stitches. And do that, like I said, seven more times and that will get you to the end of the round, okay? So I will, or the row. <laughs> so I will meet you when I get to the end. Okay, so I just finished row six and now we're ready to go on to row seven. So chain three, one, two, and three, and turn your work. Okay, so for row seven, it says two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And then one double crochet each in the next five stitches. So one. Let me get this stuff out of the frame here so it's not distracting. Sorry about that. Okay, two, three. Four and five okay so that's our sequence that will take us around this curve we're going to do one uh, two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet each in the next five stitches and we're going to repeat that uh, let's see we've already done the first time so now we're going to repeat it seven more times okay so I will meet you when I get my seven repeats done and we'll, then we'll go on to the next part okay Okay, I just finished my increases around this curve uh, of the sequences where we did two double crochets in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next five stitches, and I did that eight times all the way around this curve. Now let's go on to the last part of this row. We're going to double crochet in the next three, one each in the next three stitches. So there was one, two, and three okay and the remainder of this row is going to be all double crochet two together and we're going to do that eight times okay so we're going to do double crochet two together eight times so there's one two okay it's really going to draw this piece up okay so do this six more times we're just doing d double crochet two together i'm going to do it six more times and that'll get me to the end of the row and i will meet you up there okay so i got to the end of my row doing my eight double crochet two togethers and it got me all the way to the end now i'm going to do the row eight and this is going to be the last row and then we'll be we'll be finished with except for stitching up our uh, two ends okay so we're going to chain two one and two turn our work okay and now we're going to draw up uh, a whole bunch of these stitches okay to make this really tight curve like we did at the beginning okay so that's what we're going to do next so we're going to yarn over then we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch okay yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and then go under two loops just like we're doing double crochet two together but we're actually going to do a double crochet um, eight together okay so it's the same basic principle we're just going to keep going and when we're at the end when we're going to draw under our last loops on our hook we should have nine loops on our hook before we um, pull it through all of them okay so yarn over go into the next one yarn over draw up a loop yarn over go under two loops just like that see that now we have three on there so we're going to keep doing that until we have nine of these loops on our hook okay Okay, we just keep doing each stitch and just stop and check to see how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. I need nine of them. So I need to do it three more times. One, two, and three. Okay, and count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now I have nine. Uh, loops on my hooks and now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all nine of those okay just like that okay and now we're going to go on to the remaining um, piece of our um, the, the remaining of our row we're going to double crochet one each in the next four double crochets okay one 
two, three, and four. Okay, and now we're going to be doing a sequence to get us around this big curve here. Uh, but I am going to go with you uh, in in um, the first few stitches because we need to put one more marker. And now it does not say it in the in the written pattern. It does not tell you to put the marker. But then if you look at the there's a chart. Uh, I printed on both sides of my paper here, but if you look at the chart in the pattern, you see that there are two markers. There's a marker right here. It says place marker, and then there's another one place marker over here, okay? And so I'm going to show you where you need to put that second marker, okay? So back to row eight. We just did four double crochets, one each in the next four stitches. We just did that, and now we're going to do an increase where we're going to do two double crochets in one stitch okay okay and now we're going to do one double crochet each in the next six stitches one two three four five six okay and that's our sequence. We're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet each in the next six stitches. And we're going to do that until we get all the way to the end, okay? So in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets, one and two, okay? And this is where we're going to put our marker, okay? So we just did two stitches in one, okay? And so we're going to take our marker and we're going to put a marker in the first stitch of those two that we did, okay? Just like that, okay? And then now I'm going to go on with my repeat. So one double crochet each in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And now we're going to do a repeat. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet each in the next six stitches. Okay, that's our uh, that's our uh, repeat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue working mine until I get to the end, and I will meet you up there. So we've already did two double crochets in this the first stitch. Now we're going to do one double crochet each in the next six, and then we're going to do two stitches in one, and then. And then six stitches like that and all the way until we get to the end okay I'll meet you up at the end okay I just got to the end of row eight and so that is the end of our pattern all we have to do is a little bit of hand stitching to stitch up our piece and then we will be finished okay and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave a length of yarn uh, when I cut my ta a tail here um, when I fasten off and that's going to help me stitch up this side piece over here okay okay so I'm just going to uh, chain one and then pull my yarn all the way through to secure that down okay so now I'm going to uh, stitch up my sides now I'm going to talk about a little bit about my pad on my uh, where I put my markers. I believe I don't know if there was a typo in the pattern as far as where it was telling you to put the first marker. Uh, that was a little bit confusing to me um, when I read it again to see because I see that the marker should be up here because the marker is where it's supposed to tell you where to um, put your piece together. Okay, and you, then you stop at wherever that marker is. See how that one lines up together? You have to stretch it a little bit there. Okay, see that? Okay, but then this side, which was the first marker, which I thought I put it in the right place, and I see that it is not in the right place. I reread it, and to me, it's kind of confusing. So, but that's okay. That's okay, because actually what you're doing, I'm going to go ahead and take that one out because that one's not in the right place. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is just lay out my piece, and you don't want to overstretch it where the piece is going to bow up like that, okay? Like I said, this marker is seems to be in the right place. The other marker was not in the right place, so I'm just going to lay my edge up against that curve, okay? And just make sure that it does not... Um, 
stretch it too much. Now what I'm going to do is since this marker is in the same place, let's stitch up this side first and then that will give us uh, a better idea of where this one's going and then um, and uh, you want to decide now what what your front and back sides going to be. Uh, I think I'm going to Uh, I'm going to use this as the back side just because I had a knot right here that was in my yarn uh, and so I'd rather that be toward the back there. Uh, so I'm going to uh, get uh, cut a length of yarn and I'm going to um, stitch this piece up. Okay, pretty long piece of yarn. Get my yarn needle. Okay. And then I'm going to start here in this in the, the center, <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to start stitching these uh, two sides together, okay. I like to go ahead and put in my first stitch, and then I'm going to use my tail, and I'm going to tie myself a little knot here because this is going to be the back side of my uh, piece, okay. Do like a double knot. And then I will go back and weave in that that beginning end. This one I'm gonna I'll weave that in. Okay. And so now I'm going to just start sewing my pieces together, uh, these two edges. Okay. I a mass, the mattress stitch would be good to use I think because that way it'll lay flat. Okay. So I'm just um, continuing on stitching up this piece. I go from one side to the other. Okay. Okay. This end it does have the marker. This is the second marker. Um, or the yeah, the second marker that we put in, not the one at the beginning. Okay. And then uh, just kind of keep an eye on wh what stitch this was on. Kind of stretch it a little bit. And you want to uh, have the end of your piece to be on that stitch, okay, where the marker was, okay? More or less. If it overlaps, see mine is overlapping just a little bit. That's okay. And then I'm going to go back over to the this side, and then I'm going to use the, my beginning tail and this uh, yarn that I'm using to stitch it up, and I'm going to go ahead and tie those two together uh, just as an extra um, reinforcement. Like that, see that? Okay, and then I'm going to I'll cut my yarn here. Well, I don't have to cut it. I'm going to weave in the end. <laughs> so I'm going to weave in my end here. And then I'll cut it. Okay. Okay, cut that. And then I will take my yarn needle and I will um, yarn up my needle on these, uh, the, be the beginning tail and the ending tail, and I will weave those in so then you won't see that. Okay, I'll hide those tails. Okay, so now we're going to do the second side. And now that this side is so stitched together, now we can kind of place this one. We can kind of know where we need to place it, um, where it's not stretched too much. So I would say probably I can get my marker here and uh, kind of mark the area that where I'm wanting to line it up at. just to give myself a little bit of a guide. 
okay? And then I'm gonna take this, my ending tail, and I'm gonna yarn up my needle and uh, stitch up this side, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna continue sewing my piece together and then weave in these uh, tails over here that I need to weave in. And then I will be right back to show you the finished product and to end this video, okay? I'll be see you in a bit. Okay, so I got my tails all weaved in, okay? So now we're finished. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you decide to make um, this pattern. Like I said, it is called the cloudy dishcloth, um, but you could use it as a uh, hot pad. You could make two of them and stitch them together so that way they would be a double thickness and uh, thicker. And you could use it as a hot pad. You could use it as a cute mug rug. I think would be really cute. Um, or, do or just a doily. I think they turned out really cute. Especially if you use a self-striping yarn. You could use a solid color like is in the pattern. And um, so whatever you would however you want to use it. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!